will impact uh, also on short-term confidence. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, uh, the completion of the European research area is a key reform and uh, one of the major contributions to Europe's uh, growth agenda. In this field, uh, the current challenge for Europe uh, is to get uh, substantially better at uh, transforming knowledge uh, into products and services. I'm certain that uh, the completion of uh, the European research area will help uh, also in this respect uh, by connecting national systems uh, and uh, taking full advantage of their potential, we'll be, we will be better placed uh, to spread uh, European research excellence uh, and uh, create uh, competition through scale. Concerning uh, other structural reforms, uh, the priority for EU member states uh, is uh, labour market reform. Rapid uh, and uh, determined uh, action is needed uh, in uh, many of our member states uh, and uh, labour market reforms uh, are the key policy priorities, uh, for instance, uh, in uh, Italy and uh, Spain. Spain is uh, shortly concluding the work on its uh, labour market reform. In Italy, the negotiations uh, between the social partners and uh, the government are still going on and uh, the government uh, intends to take uh, action as well in the coming weeks. And these are indeed essential because uh, this is uh, one of the Achilles heels uh, of uh, Europe's uh, economies and uh, Europe's uh, growth uh, agenda. But I think uh, it's important to see that uh, we also have uh, encouraging examples uh, in these uh, difficult uh, times, uh, in these uh, tough times. Uh, I recall quite well the country I know best, uh, Finland, uh, which uh, in the 1990s went through a very profound uh, structural reform. And in fact, uh, if you look at uh, many other countries uh, in Europe uh, over the past decades, uh, you can see that uh, in the 1980s, uh, Denmark uh, and uh, the Netherlands uh, recovered uh, and uh, did it uh, through fiscal consolidation and uh, structural reform. Finland and Sweden in the 1990s uh, overcame a very deep and difficult uh, economic uh, recession also by policies of uh, stabilization as well as uh, investing in education, research, uh, innovation, productivity. And uh, in the past decade uh, Germany has uh, done very significant substantial structural reforms uh, and uh, is uh, today one of the most uh, resilient uh, economies uh, in Europe and again the engine of uh, the European economy. So this proves that uh, while difficult uh, structural reforms uh, work uh, and uh, bring results uh, and uh, make the economies uh, more resilient uh, and uh, public finances uh, more sustainable. Of course uh, youth employment uh, must be at the top of the agenda or Europe uh, risks uh, losing an entire generation. Difficulties uh, to enter in the labour market uh, may depress uh, a person's uh, incentives to learn, acquire training and uh, also build family with implications uh, for our human capital base uh, and uh, implications for our potential growth uh, looking forward. Financial market reforms uh, are necessary to ensure that uh, normality returns uh, to the provision of uh, financing to businesses and uh, households. Uh, here again, building confidence is key. And we also need to ensure better access uh, of uh, finance uh, for small and medium-sized uh, enterprises, which are the backbone of the European economy and uh, also the large companies uh, over tomorrow. In addition to improving the functioning of the markets, uh, more efficient use uh, has to be made of uh, the public sector in creating better framework conditions for growth. Uh, innovative financial instruments uh, can play a role here, a positive role, with, uh, which will further help uh, funding innovation and uh, infrastructure. The launching of uh, EU project bonds uh, will help uh, combining public and uh, private funding 
and uh, thus uh, foster investment uh, in uh, transport, uh, energy and uh, telecommunication, which is uh, very badly needed uh, across uh, Europe. So, ladies and gentlemen, to conclude, uh, if I should try to find uh, something positive, maybe difficult, but uh, we should try to find something positive about uh, the current uh, crisis, uh, maybe it is that uh, the crisis uh, will teach or may have already taught us to think outside the box and figure out how to connect the dots between research and innovation, job creation and economic growth so that it can bring concrete results in terms of enhancing welfare and prosperity in Europe. As President Barroso said recently, there is a no sustainable path uh, to growth and prosperity outside uh, the triangle of uh, research, uh, innovation and uh, education. We are already competing with uh, China and uh, other emerging economies uh, that invest uh, massively in uh, education, research uh, and uh, innovation. It would be dangerous to rest uh, on our laurels uh, and uh, marvel at the historically superb uh, science base of Europe. Uh, instead, uh, we need to turn uh, ideas uh, into growth. I think uh, this is the lesson to remember as the European economy is uh, going through the most challenging time uh, in its uh, history and as we try to restore confidence uh, and uh, fiscal sustainability across uh, Europe. So the stakes are high. But I'm confident uh, that we will be able to be open to new and uh, innovative thinking. At the end of the day, that's what uh, the European Union is uh, all about. Thank you very much.